Hi Pai, I am Nilakant Bhanu, the world's yeah, fastest human I know, I know. You are the world's fastest human calculator. Wait, how do you know that? Because I am everywhere. Really? How? I would want to know more about you because it's your day today. Sure, I love to talk about myself. Buckle up your seat belts to go on an interesting journey with me. Alright, I am excited. Let's start. To begin with, let me tell you, I have been around for about 4000 years. Even I don't remember my origin. Many people across the world, notably India, China, Europe and the Middle East have been trying to calculate my value. But it was the Greek mathematician Archimedes of Syracuse who accurately calculated my value for the first time. Considering that I am found everywhere, isn't it strange that nobody else noticed me before that? <laughs> what do you mean by everywhere? You can find me while studying the infinite stars in the universe. I was used by early astronomers to study the Earth and its rotation, as well as its orbits. Not to brag, but I have been quite helpful in searching for new planets and their atmospheres called exoplanets outside our solar system. NASA uses me to calculate the trajectory of a spacecraft. By transfer for measuring craters, learning about the composition of asteroids. Do you know, I was always used to calculate the amount of hydrogen present in the ocean beneath the surface of Jupiter's moon Europa. Yes, I am out there in the space too. I also hang out with my friends, light and sound very often. As you know, sound and light comprise waves. Your primary senses of seeing and hearing also depends on light and sound waves. And I am found in the sine waves that are used for signal processing in sound and light waves. I help people study the way springs bounce, pendulums swing and strings vibrate. Wondering what else can you decipher from the study of sound waves? You can use it to take an ultrasound of a baby in the womb. Study the behavior of ocean waves, their frequency, wavelength and amplitude. You can find me even within your body. No jokes, I'm serious. I'm found inside the most basic structure of the human body, DNA. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is the main constituent of the chromosomes and the carrier of genetic information which gives biological instructions making each species unique. DNA is typically 1.8 meters long and forms the nucleus of our body cell with only 10 microns of the average diameter. For our long DNA to fit in the constrained area, it wraps itself to form nucleosomes that look like a string of beads. This string is 1.5 times pi shorter than our DNA. Another place where I can be found is in the spiral of the DNA double helix. The ladder-like structure of the DNA helix is held together with the help of my bonds. My bonds stack interactions that help to keep the structure in place. I help you in building a much more robust and reliable computer system. Applications like SuperPy and HyperPy benchmark your computer's performance based on the calculations of my digits. You can't predict that without precise calculation. A calculation up to trillions of digits imply that all trillion plus operations were precise and accurate. Otherwise, it will lead to an error. I come into play even when you are talking over the phone, watching television or listening to the radio. I can go on and on, but you got it, right? That's one hell of a journey. But before we go ahead, tell me something. Are you rational or irrational? Hmm, now that's something you humans seem to be stuck on forever. You guys say that I am a ratio of circumference and diameter of a circle C by D, which is a P by Q form. So does that make me rational? I am an irrational number. That means either the circumference or the diameter of a circle has to be an irrational number always. 
the concept of my irrationality did not arise until 1761 decimal expansion of any ratio is either terminating or recurring but in my case nobody could find an end i go on and on till infinity can you really define me in the p by q form think about it and you tell me if i am rational or irrational you have a non recurring non repeating decimal expansion we use a specific symbol of pi for you because there are infinite decimal places which we cannot write down so on the outside you might seem like a rational number but you are an irrational number yeah correct and before i forget do you know whose discovery completely changed the way how people understand me now wait you must be talking about sir isaac newton ah you are smarter than i thought do you know why people got interested in finding my value yeah definitely i can actually demonstrate it for you Bullseye, you explained it perfectly. So, Pai, tell me more about your journey. How were you calculated thousands of years ago? Okay, let's start with Archimedes. He calculated my value by dividing the circle into a polygon of 96 sides and estimated it to be between 3.1408 and 3.1429. François Vaité provided 10 decimal places of pi by applying the Archimedes method to a polygon. with 393216 sides ludolf van soylen published a 20 decimal value of pi and later expanded this to 35 decimals using essentially the same methods as those employed by archimedes some 1700 years earlier in germany i am still sometimes referred to as the ludolfine number in his honor then newton came in He started using the binomial theorem and infinite series to compute the value of pi to decimals that were never achieved before. This reduced the time from several weeks to a few days. Many scientists use the same method but different infinite series to compute my value. Wow, what a captivating experience. You've been a part of a lot of controversies. A lot of people still don't understand you and there is a lot more to know. but after this video i think that people will understand you better yes vanu i'm sure about that now i'll take your leave bye see you bye so knowing about pi let us celebrate the international pi day which is on the 14th of march if you've liked this video hit the like button and share it with the people whom you think will enjoy and don't forget to subscribe